got to feel in heaven when my lover's near. Lord, let this moment last for another year. Though today has ended, the night's still young, I'd say. Lover, don't go away. Let it be the thing that I am longing for. Let's fly out from Manhattan to the California shore Just to watch the ships at night on the San Francisco Bay Oh, lover, please, please stay Don't say you have to go Don't say you need to run Stop the clock on Central Station And we can have a drink downtown Let it be the night that I am longing for Let's fly down south to Austin or to Ecuador Just to drink pina colada on a hot, wet summer's day Thank you, Seth. I'm El Diablo. And I'm the divine Danny D. Hello. Okay, it is hot. It's too darn hot. It's too, it's too damn hot. Too so damn appropriate. Hot. We said it the is. show would be too damn hot, and it and it's officially sweltering. is. It's sweltering in our house. Officially is. Luckily, we also have ovens on, and it's like, we've decided not only is it hot, we needed to make it hotter, because, hey. It's thematic. <laughs> it's right and on we, brand. Uh, we commit. Uh, when we do an idea, we don't half ass. No, no, no. Have we, you seen we, this ass? We affect the sun. It's full ass. <laughs> full on ass. Full ass everything. I'm a full ass, people say. Do, do people say that? People have said that to me. The people? You're just a full ass. Yeah. Well, if you haven't been here before, uh, well, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but hi and welcome. Welcome. And come um, back again. Exactly. We are based <laughs> in La Belle, Quebec, Canada. Oh, so ah, one of the most beautiful places in the world. Yeah. It's right in the name. It's, it, in case you didn't know, it tells you. <laughs> exactly. I'm pretty. Ah, pretty, pretty. <laughs> Don't you love it when a, people tell you that? Exactly. Where I'm do you pretty. live? The pretty. The pretty. I live in the beautiful. Yes, and that's where we live, in La Belle, Quebec. La Belle, Quebec. Um... Um, in the land before time. In the pre-panini. In the pre-panini. <laughs> I love a good pre-panini. Uh, and we were, uh, we, we, we performed for people live on stages and in, in rooms. Shared air. We're, oh, Breathed we the same right air. at them sometimes. Shook touch them sometimes. Oh, it was an amazing but time. Now, but now. I just get to touch The you. COVID happened and we went, ha let's, let's go diggital. Diggital? Diggital. No diggity. We're for, full on diggital. No doubt. <laughs> So we decided since we we back in that time we were performed live we were based almost exclusively in the burlesque the world of burlesque. Yes, we were. Uh, yeah. You were a beautiful burlesque dancer. Oh, thank you. A you were a beautiful burlesque host. Oh, I know. I, I'm, I'm La Belle. Host. You're La Belle host. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> La Belle host. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, um, we produced, we we wrote, we taught, we, we created all kinds <laughs> of burlesque, and we thought, well, we'll take some of that sexy knowledge. And we'll apply it to the other sexiest thing in the world. Food and drinks. Food and drinks. Food and drinks. Because we all need to eat. And Sex during the eat. pandemic, we really needed to be drunk. Or and swallowed. Eating. And eating. Drunk and, and, drunk and eating. It drunk and sense. eating. 
And so we thought, let's bring that to the people. And we have been doing that every for, week, almost. For a year. Over a year. For over a year. A year. year. We're, we're, we started in, we started in March. March. Of 2020. 2020. It is now July of 2021. We took some time off at months? different points. Oh, well, we moved. We moved from from Montreal all the way here. To beautiful. To, to beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's appropriate that you live here. Oh, Look at this. You got a double vax. I got my double vax. Either that or somebody just left a Band-Aid on you. No, double vax. Uh, yeah, so we, it's, and today the whole theme, every show has got some kind of fun theme. We're bringing back something we did, we loved last time, called Too Damn Hot. Yep. This is the even hotter edition. Not to be confused with Too Darn a Hot, because that's... A, so, Sondheim. Sondheim, exactly. But close. But We're we, doing the Sondheim of food. The Sondheim of food. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Whatever that means. So today's episode is about things that have a little spice to them. Empty kick. A little hit. Ooh, so sure. Um, we're going to do some spicy cocktails. Yeah. We're going to do some, what are we doing for food? We are doing, um, cauliflower buffalo wings. Oh, I did not know that buffalo had cauliflower I wings. I did not know that cauliflowers had buffaloes. Oh, you know, that's we're fantastic. Gonna, some, I'm, this is distracting. I've distracted us with us up here. Uh, there's too much of, too much meat. Too much of us. Um, yeah, I, I love, I love me a good buffalo wing. I really do. It's one of my favorites, but, uh, I don't know. In the last couple of years, cauliflower seems to be like a super popular thing that people eat and pretend it's meat. Yeah. So let's we're, we're going to do out. that. Let's try it out and see how. I've, it had, I've had some good cauliflower wings that I like. Have you? I have. I have. I, I, I don't mind. I like cauliflower. It's a good. It, 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 it's a good sponge of flavor. That that is fair. You know, cauliflower better cooked or raw. Oh, I don't like cauliflower raw. I find it tastes like nothing. See, and it's very interesting. I prefer my cauliflower raw normally, and my broccoli cooked. I like the shirt. I got this new shirt. I feel like I look like a uh, vacation Dwight. <laughs> it's like fancy mustard. You are a fancy I, mustard. I'm, I'm vacation Dwight. This You're is what I think he would wear. Dwight. I think in a couple of weeks we're going to do our, our office yes, episode. We actually do. We're going to do an episode all about The Office. If y'all are a big fan of The Office, that's going to be a fun one. And if you're not, if you're not with you. <laughs> watch the show. You'll love it. Um, uh, but yeah, so we're gonna yeah. yeah so I'm very I'm excited. I'm excited for this. Excited. Are you spiced? Are you spiced? Spiced. 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 But I've got some good drinks. We've got a drink, a, a classic, an old old drink, uh, Shoe Fly Punch, Ooh. which I've always loved. A good Shoe Fly, so a, a nice sort of spicy ginger and bourbon beer, a okay. ginger and bourbon cocktail, mm -hmm. uh, and it's also a punch. So it's also a really nice, easy one to scale up. So if you're having a you're having a party now you that we can this, start but... to have people. You can just determine how many people you want at your party by how much punch you make. Yes. And then we're going to do another drink that um, is I mean, I, when I started looking up some spicier stuff, and, and spicy cocktails are not necessarily my my always my go to thing, uh, though there are a few that I like. And I thought, oh, it could be fun. We could do some prairie fires mm -hmm. and some prairie oysters, but you know they're more of a novelty thing. They don't really taste good. Mm. But I came across something that I thought, oh, that's what I'd like. So I've, I've got a, a martini of sorts. Martini? A var vodka. Vodka oh. martini. It's I, so I'm hot. I'm sorry. It's so, so hot. hot. Here, we're melting. A <laughs> vodka martini uh, that I'm calling the black and pepper. Okay. It's blackberry oh. with some uh, black pepper. Oh. A little bit of, I find these two things. It's one of those things, I, I, and I sort of, I don't know if you've ever gone to uh, come across those lists online or videos about flavors that you didn't know Should are actually that they do and one of them is uh berries and peppers so, is a uh, the, the specific sugar in berries raspberries uh blackberries uh strawberries and black pepper are natural complements well we shall see so we're gonna try that out today yeah so it's, it's gonna be a fun day you keep we have the shit out of the dog i'm sorry we've got, we've got a guest who's over a, there who's we have a puppy guest. four legs and an opinion. Sorry, uh, and sort of like both of us. Yeah. <laughs> Four legs and, and, and an opinion. opinion. <laughs> um, plus, we have, uh, he was away last week, but he's back. Chef Duyan is here yeah, tonight. Yeah, Chef Duyan. Chef. And some awesome musica. Some great musica. Great musica. Great and y'all. And Y'all, some sexy woman. And a hundred bazillion Oh, degrees. so good. We're going to have a fun show. I'm very excited for today. Um, oh, oh. What do we, oh, should we go talk to people? Let's talk to the people. So let's see who's here. Let's go talk to some people. La, 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 la. Hello, everybody. Hola. 
Margarita. Hello. Margarita is here. My mother is here. Oh, she says strawberry and pepper is excellent. Stra- those are those are of course two names, eggs in one opinion. The names of my grandmother's dogs too. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, I said, I don't know why that's not donking. I hate when that doesn't do that. But it's I'll, all right, it doesn't matter. They, don't, they can't see We're it. Good. Care. We're good, we're um, good. Yeah, I'm glad everybody is here. Say hi if you're in. I'm just checking some feeds while you're doing. Nice, but we're asking them to talk to us, and then we can't see their chats. No, I'm just I'm checking a place where there is chats. Oh, hi, chats. I, I lost something, but now we're all right. Oh, we're good. Everybody's here. Um, yeah, if you haven't watched the show before, we, uh, we broadcast in a few different places. Uh, we are uh, we're currently live on YouTube, YouTube on our Shirt Crazy channel. We yep. are currently live on Twitch. Those, to me, are the best two places to watch this. Mm-hmm. We're also live on Facebook, on our Facebook page. Mm-hmm. And we're sending a signal to my Facebook page. I don't know if it ever goes through. Mm-hmm. But it's being sent there. And we're on the Twitter. And we're on the Twitter. which on is Twitter. which. Twitter's really an interesting one. There's a lot of people who seem to watch this show on Twitter. But it never gets counted in the... the Y'all viewers. never talk to us. I don't know if you can. But there is, again, watching it on Twitter. If you're watching on Twitter right now, it's a little bit harder chat. Um, if you're on Periscope, I believe the chat will work right away. But if you're on Twitter, you can't really get access to the chat. So if you just want to lurk, that's cool. Lurk, but if you want to like away. chat with us, you can like hop on over to YouTube or whatever and do the thing. Yes. And you can see it's, it's a beautiful sunny day here. It's gorgeous. Uh, it's, you can this tell just by looking bright. at our faces. It's also like schwitz. It's very, it's, it's very schwitz. Yeah, I'm going I'm to be, I'm going to have to have uh, uh, your, your the, per, the perspiration towel today. Um, yeah, it's very good. Shall we go back over here? We can go back. Let's over go here. back over here. Hey, everybody. Um, Look, uh, it's us. We're over here. Now. We're over all over the place. Uh, no, it's going to be, this is going to be a fun one. Uh, oh, we also want to say who's lurking. Where is he today? Mr. Ling. Where is Mr. Ling? Mr. Ling. Where are you today, Mr. Ling? Oh, Mr. Ling is in the toaster. Hello, Mr. Ling. You put Mr. Ling in the toaster. I don't know. I didn't put him there. He was somewhere else entirely. And he just ended he up He got the into toaster. the toaster. He's, he's never hot enough. I was going to say, be careful, Mr. Ling. You are made of wood, Mr. Ling. This is how we lose a character on the show. It reminds me of the Amityville horror when he sticks his hand in the uh, in the carburetor and it turns on. I don't know. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, that's true. So Mr. Ling is there. We'll we'll go visit with him a little bit later. And that's where the that's our that's our toaster. So if you ever want to know, hey, do one. they need a toaster? No, nope, we, we got, got one. We got one. Thanks. Thank you though. Uh, so if you need to know what gifts to buy us, hey, check our Amazon wish list. You know. <laughs> That's what it's there for. Also, you don't have to buy us presents. You we know, like them, but you we, don't have to. Do we that. always love presents. Uh, but your presence is presents enough. Ah, I see what you did there. I'm just going to, you talk to them for a quick second. I realize I didn't do a thing. I just got to okay. quickly do a thing. I'm going to talk to y'all. <laughs> I like when you talk. You always address that you're going to have to talk. It's very warm. And I don't know about my lady friends out there, but sometimes I have this debate when it gets this hot outside. Do I put the bra on to absorb the under boob sweat? Or do I not put the bra on so as to create some kind of air circulation situation? So when it's hot, are you pro bra or anti bra or sans bra? Sans bra. Mm, sans bra. See, for my gentleman friends, commando or not commando in the summer? Mm. I get the benefit of commando, but I think it depends on the color of pants you're wearing. No, it actually it depends on the uh, how much how generous oh, your I- proportion is. Oh, and you if see, it's I, generous proportions, it gets a little hot. That's what I've heard. Chafy. That's what people said. That's what people tell you. When you're when you are uh, less generous. Yes. It's, uh, it's like a summer breeze. Oh, see, and I don't know. I would want one layer between my my package and my pants. You want a layer between your package and your pants. Yeah, that sure. is how Amazon sends everything. <laughs> Actually, they send four layers, and one is bubble wrap. <laughs> In fact, if you're going commando, I really recommend bubble wrap. Mm-hmm. I've actually done that, Commando and Bubble Wrap. You have. I've I have, made a career I have of witnessed this. that. <laughs> been, uh, do you want a cocktail? Yes, please. Should we have a cocktail? You just, you just totally cut yourself off. I know. Well, I wasn't being very interesting. So <laughs> let's have a cocktail. And I was just noticing before we started the show, I mentioned the fact that this will be the first shaken cocktail. Ooh. We have you know what that means, eh? In, I know. That's why I was quite excited because we have not had a shaker dance uh, this whole season. You know, it's funny. I happened to notice on uh, on the socials that mm-hmm. there was a burlesque uh, challenge thing where people are challenging themselves to shimmy for 60 seconds. Yes. 
And I don't know why I was driving back from Montreal the other day and I was bored in the car. So I decided to see if I could just keep it going for longer than 60 seconds. So yeah. I think I, I have been inadvertently training for this. Train your, 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 your shaker training? My shaker training. Well, that's fantastic. That's I, sh fantastic. I shimmied for at least two minutes. Yes. In my car while I was driving the other day. Yes. Well, this is this is a fun drink. This is you want to bring this up. This yeah. is what's called a shoe fly punch. Uh, it's uh, an old. Uh, oh, sorry, we didn't get into here. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, here we go. Now you can do it. Boom. There you are. This is a shoe fly punch. It's an old uh, 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 drink from Louisiana. Mm -hmm. um, it is basically a bourbon and ginger cocktail. Okay. Uh, in this case, we're using uh, just any basic bourbon will do. We're going to be using a little bit of Maker's Mark in this case, Kentucky, good Kentucky bourbon. Uh, we want a ginger liqueur. There are a variety of ginger liqueurs. That's this is one. one of my favorite ones, uh, Domaine de Canton. Uh, and it looks like, uh, it looks like bamboo. Yeah, it kind of does. But it also could be... Uh, and it also does look like the ribs of ginger as well. It's also just a beautiful bottle. It's and a beautiful and bottle. If you can get your hands on this, do it. It's it's a good bar staple. Yes. Like, you're not going to use it all the time, but it's very tasty. Yes. Uh, and this, we're also going to need some lemon. We're going to finish it with a little Angostura and just add a little sweetness with some simple syrup, which we just made earlier, and top the whole thing off with a little ginger beer to give it a little extra spice. Um, are you ready for some shoe fly punch? I am. Do you want some ice? Uh, when I... Oh, actually, what I'm going to do is we're going to actually... I'm going to crush some ice in a little okay. bit. But I didn't want to crush it and have it melt. No. So I'm going to crush some ice for the drink itself. Cool. Uh, I'm sorry, I was going to bring this up. We're going to bring no that problem. up one more time for me. Uh, we're going to start off in this drink. I, I, I said before, we're going to go... When we were making drinks, and I almost did it wrong, we always want to go with cheapest ingredients <laughs> first. So I have... Oh, can you grab me the... Berries? So lemon juice off, please. No, I can do We're that. We're going to start off with a half an ounce of lemon juice. So into here, boom, boom, boom. There we go. This is Friends, lemon. there's no reason to buy that real lemon lemon juice. Squeeze your lemons. Squeeze your lemons. So into this, half an ounce. So I've got making two, so I've just got an ounce in here of uh, our fresh lemon juice. That's all we need in there. We're going to add a dash of Angostura. Didn't get much in that last one. There we are. Uh, to this, we are going to add, here we are, an ounce per cocktail of ginger liqueur. So we're going to, boom, they're going. Just getting used to this new jigger. I got this, yeah. this step jigger, and I, I really quite like it. I see why There's bartenders. A you have to figure to out for, your steps. But I have to, I haven't, I haven't figured out exactly where all the steps are. So, uh, an ounce per cocktail of our ginger liqueur. We're going to go two ounces. Two and a half ounces. Sorry, two and a half ounces. Two and a half ounces. This is a, a boozy drink. So this one's nice because it's right to the top of our bourbon. There we are. All right. And now, actually, I do need the ice. Sorry, I do need the yeah, ice so okay. I can shake that up. So let's put that there. We are going to. Oh, the dog is growling to get involved. The dog doesn't like when anything taller than him moves. No? What, what move? I moved. Up. Hey, hey, we're on the air. We're on the air. Do you want to come be on the show? What? Timmy fell down a well? Oh my god. Come here, Kobe. Oh, people are voting for Donald Trump again? Come here, Kobe. Come. Well, come be on the show. Come be on All the show. All right. Wait, we're going to do shaker dance. I know. I'm going to do it with the dog. All right. Ready? First time, season three. With, now with. With Kobe Power. Extra Kobe. All right. Oh. Boom. You a poop? There we go. You a poop? Whoop. There we are. Let go. There we are. Let's go now. In order to do this, I'm going to quickly just throw a little bit of No, we, we did not get a dog. I am babysitting my sister's dog. Hi, Baron. Hi, Ruby. And yes, Margarita, spice is good. There we spice go. Spice is life. All right. Hold on for a second while I... Uh... I'm going to do a... a... It's 
it's over now. Don't you fret. Yeah, it was not. It was loud. He really doesn't like the noise. He's a small dog. The small dogs get scared. There we of go. Him. Okay. It's okay dude. Chill. You can chill. We're just making drinks. Yeah. <laughs> I know. There we go. Now into this. We're going to take our glasses. Boom, boom, boom. We are going to put. Our While you do that, ice. I'm just going to wash my hands so you I don't put... accidentally touch food with dog yeah. hands. That would be terrible. Put our crushed ice into here. I wish I had a scoop. I don't, but the spoon is doing well. Uh, why crushed ice? Why not regular ice? You know what I think is with something like this cocktail, the crushed ice is a beautiful thing because what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to melt differently than you have cubes. You're going to get a, a completely different. Uh, you stay there. A completely different uh, reaction with uh, uh, the the. the Booze, ice, mouth feel. Stop, stop guessing because it just threw me off. Uh, no, it's uh, um, with how how it how the water changes the the, the, the taste of the drink. Um, so we're just gonna oh, just gonna quickly add a little bit of that. So there we go. Plus, like anything with crushed ice makes me think I'm having an adult slushy, and that makes me happy. <laughs> I'm such a five year old, but with alcohol. All right. Ooh, that's got like a pretty, because of the, yeah. the volume of the ice, it's got this nice degradé ombre situation yeah, happening. And now we're just going to finish this off. It's going to go into my school bag here. That doesn't look so fresh. Yeah. That really doesn't look so fresh. That's <laughs> yeah, so very bad. Uh, yeah, that, that, let's, let's go ahead and go with that, that. Oh, you know what? I might have mint in the it's mint you're looking for. Yeah, mint I'm looking for. I might have mint in here. Oh, you have mint. Well, that's. I might from from. The mint we had was not as good mint that I thought. I blame the I blame the fact that we can also do what's nice with this. Oh. We have here. Look what we got from Debbie's garden. Oh, Debbie's mint. Hmm. It's spearmint, but it's mint. That's none. fine. It'll, that'll it's do. mint nonetheless, and it's that's in good. much better condition than. That's good. Those other mints. I'm gonna put that in there. And I want to have, oh, let's go with this. We'll take those, we'll put those. Whoops. Hi, Kiwi Cowboy 10. How are you? Kiwi Cowboy 10? Hi, what happened to one through nine? He killed them all. <laughs> <laughs> and we will just go quickly. Boom. And. This does look very refreshing. Boom. I agree, Baron. Boom. And there we have a shoe fly punch. Shoe fly punch. Cheers. Cheers to you as well. Does this need a straw or Oh, I yes, I do. Sorry, I have a straw for you here. I was just wondering. There we are. I'm wearing my new lipstick called Trophy Wife. I oh. can mess it up. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we get the. Oh, sorry. This it's is also, what I'm missing. Yeah. I'm missing. A, I knew I was missing something. Also, it's so hot in here that there's literal vapors coming off the tops of these drinks. <laughs> I also it's... forgot an entire ingredient. Sorry. Bam, bam, bam. I knew I was being fancy, but, but I screwed it up. But you know what? It tastes very good just like that. And the glass is full. So how badly did you screw it up, really? Yeah, I was supposed to have. I might need a bigger glass, slightly bigger glass, but we don't want a ton of this. There we are. Now we have a little bit of the. Yeah. Yeah, there we are. Now there's a spice in it that comes out of the ginger beer. It amazes me how spicy ginger beer really is. Oh, yeah. I don't mean spicy. Like, I love, like, bird eye chilies and stuff mm. like that. It's a different. Oh, yeah. It's a spice you're not expecting, I find, with ginger beer. Like, you don't expect it to taste the way it does. No. And then it's a little bit like, oh, okay. That's but okay. it's a, this is a lovely drink. This is, to me, what I like about this is in the summer, this is going to be super refreshing because a little bit of that heat just going to... Give you let that, you sweat it out. Let you sweat it out a bit more, and it's, which is going to make you sweat, which is, again, just a little bit of breeze, and it's going to cool you right down. It's the same reason why you get on a, oh, that can grab, if you're in the, someplace hot, like uh, uh, in the Middle East, well, they'll drink a lot of hot tea, mm -hmm. hot or peppermint like, tea. Why, when we were in Thailand, I ate soup like three meals yeah, a day. Yeah, soup was always, but this, I think this is a beautiful drink. This it is, is a beautiful drink. It's quite tasty. Reminiscent of like a mint julep, but with that but ginger, with ginger note, yeah. and I, I think it's just 
It's a porch sipper, if you know it what is. I mean. It is. It's a very much a porch it's sipper. It's a porch sipper. Um, yeah. 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 This is nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's a... I don't know if I like ginger beer. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I like ginger beer in a cocktail. I think I find it really, on certain drinks, adds such a beautiful little note. I find for me, it sits right at the back of my soft palate in a place that I don't like. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, bless you. <laughs> um, yeah. And again, flavors, right? We all... We, <laughs> Excuse me. Um, we all be different, and that's fine. But yeah, ginger beer... Um, oh, well. Some of that, too, eh? Some of that. Do I wanna, oh. I'm just going to put a little squirt of that. <laughs> So, this is a terrible drink. I made it. I made it. Well, I well, like it's actually this. not a terrible drink. It's a you nice it, drink. You made a good drink. You just didn't make it the way With you said the, you were I going did. To. I didn't use all the ingredients that I said I was going to use. But what a bonus! See, if you're missing ingredients, you can still make this drink. Did you want to tell the people what you just put in? Yeah, so I just put in the simple syrup. Little simple syrup, the stupidest of the syrups. Yeah, yeah, I knew that was something. Was just, but I, I don't know if it needed it. I really like the simple syrup. I like is the there... simple syrup because I find the ginger a little bit. Over it aggressive, dominates. Aggressive. I think it see I find this ginger beer very sweet. And I don't agree with you. My taste buds find something else. Ooh. I find it very <laughs> that. Whatever the the, vo, the verbal equivalent of is, that's how I find Cloying? it. Cloying? Attack aggressive. It's aggressive. It's aggressive. It's ginger like, beer is an aggressive. But it's like passive aggressive because like I hear ginger beer and I think something refreshing like beer and then it like assaults my uvula and yeah. and ah. Uh... <laughs> no, but I think <laughs> for for a, for a um for a hot day, I could go through a few of these. Yeah. Yeah. That is a good drink. The shoe you know fly that's punch. Like, that's why I like beer when it's hot outside because I find there's a natural tendency to want to continue to drink, especially if it's refreshing. And the beer, at least at five percent or whatever, yeah. it's not going to kill you. Two, three, four of these. That's got what two and a, three and a half ounces of booze in there. That's got three and a half beer. ounces of beer. Plus, well, there's, 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 there's no, no booze. Beer. In beer. Yeah, there's no beer in ginger beer. But. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Mmm. I think that's a nice. I think that's a good. Uh, that's my new sort of summer go to summer. There's very few drinks that use the. Uh, what I think is like it's. It, there's a lot of drinks that use ginger beer. But to add that ginger liqueur, which is not really a spicy liqueur, we're getting the spice in here from oh, the that's, ginger. That's beer. lovely on the rocks. That but the, the, the but, Canton is yeah, Domaine de Canton is really, but it really adds a ginger mm -hmm. flavor. So I think what this is nice is with the bourbon and adding the the ginger beer for the spice and mm -hmm. the ginger flavor from the Canton, you get a really nice gingery, mm, excellent drink. I like that's it a, a lot. Mm, in case you didn't, know. I like this. This is fun. It is fun. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. So that is one of today's drinks. That's the shoe fly punch. The yeah? shoe fly punch. Okay. We are we are one part into. We are one recipe down, and nothing went wrong other than I forgot a lot of ingredients. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm gonna blame the heat. I'm gonna blame the heat. I'm gonna, gonna blame the heat. I'm gonna blame the dog. Don't blame the dog. I'm gonna blame the dog. He did nothing. He. I would never have done this if he wasn't barking. If he if this wasn't here, we know he's a distraction because. He he's, understands you. He's very judgmental about the show. What do you think? Oh, he's got, he's, 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 he, the, he, we have a, a Facebook thread. You and the dog? Yeah. Okay. And uh, very critical. Yeah. The Took dog doesn't like the blue. Oh, I thought you were going to say, tried to take your finger off. Tried to take my finger No, <laughs> no, this was, this was an accident. Uh, for people who had uh, food from us this weekend, if you find my thumb, <laughs> I just turn it back. <clears throat> All of, no, you, no. all of you who said it was the best meal we've ever yeah. had. Ha-ha! We always put a little of ourselves in every <laughs> meal we make. Yes. No, it was, uh, we, were, we, were making, we were making some amazing uh, spare ri uh, uh, short, short ribs this weekend. At that piece of meat that we got, we went to go buy short ribs. It was a, it was a really great butcher here. The in, mercen les mercenaires, I don't know if they're mercenaires boucher or mercenaires culinaire. I, culinaire, mercenaire yeah. Culinaire. It's, it, right it's in Saint-Jean, it. it's an amazing butcher. He's fantastic. And he, we needed short ribs. They didn't have anything out. He brought a side of beef out. Half the cow came out of the fridge. And he put it down and proceeded to cut a steak, a short rib steak that was... Six and a half pounds of short ribs. That wide, that tall, and that thick. So when we went to cut it the other day, as we were preparing the food, and we realized, hey, wait, we don't have a kitchen implement to cut through bone. Bone? Yeah. 
So so, that much bone? Some of you who uh, who follow me on Facebook know I ended up going, there's a very little hardware. Like, we live in a very, very small little hardware. town. Very little hardware. Very small, small town. town. So I went to their local hardware store. Floyd the store. Butcher. Um, Floyd, the, Floyd the, uh, the barber. I don't know what his name is, the guy, the, the King Kennedy, but I will figure out his name. So I said to him, he looks, he, clearly he saw that I was perplexed as I'm looking at the wall. And yeah. he's like, can I help you? And he says, to, I said, I need a saw in French. And he says, okay, a wood saw or a metal saw. And I said... A rib saw. And he was like, what do you mean? And I'm like, a rib saw, like to cut through ribs. And he was like, oh. So it was very clear to me that in his probably like 30 plus And in all years, fairness, he gave no, us the wrong saw. But again, I'm pretty sure like he's probably owned that hardware store yeah. like forever. And I think I'm officially the first I, person who ever came in looking for a meat saw. I, I would I would like to, th- I would like to think you're probably the first person who actually asked him. Everybody else just, who's murdered somebody just and is disposing quiet. of a body just quietly got the saw they found. Gotcha. Right. He does not need to know I'm cutting ribs. <laughs> ah! Huh. Fantastic. What is that noise? Mm. It's scary, huh, folks? All right. Shall we ask a question of these lovely people? Sure. We always want you guys involved. Today is too damn hot in more ways than one. Um, so we want some hot questions and some hot takes from you people. Give us your hot takes. So What's let me question? start with question number one today that we would like to know from you guys. Boom, boom, boom. Question time. What's your favorite spicy dish or cuisine? And I, I'm going to ask you, what's your favorite spicy dish? You have a, you, and, and cuisine. I want to know if you could only eat one spicy cuisine. Okay, if I could only eat one spicy cuisine, it would be Thai. Thai? Okay. Absolutely. Hands down wow. Thai. Because there's something about um, the Thai flavor palette, the lemongrass, the chili, mm-hmm. the lime leaves, the sweet, the savory, the sour, yeah. the spicy, that makes so much sense to my taste buds. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've ever met a Thai dish that I didn't like, mm-hmm. um, in all fairness. And not all Thai dishes are spicy. No, too. but that's what I'm saying. I love Thai cuisine because I love the, like, and we were in Thailand last year. The freshness, to, to me, it's fresh. Mm-hmm. Thai food is fresh. It's got like so much citrus yeah. and, and fresh fruit and fresh veg. And so if I had to pick a spicy cuisine for the rest of my life, it would yeah. be Thai. And if you could only have one spicy dish. Do I, do I have to stay within my Thai cuisine? Or no, I, you can have anything. I, I, it doesn't change anything. Tom Yum. Tom Yum? Nice, I got tom, really like good. A really good spicy Tom Yum is like... It just makes the world. Tom Yum is a fantastic. I had I had Or chicken vindaloo. A good chicken vindaloo. Uh I I, I love Tom Yum. I remember I had I, I decided I wanted to learn to make Tom Yum probably about uh about fifteen years ago, eighteen years ago. And I was living in Vancouver and I went and got all the ingredients and I made Tom Yum. I was so proud of it, it came out really good. And somehow that same day, I contracted the Norwalk virus. Oh, no. So got so insanely sick, and my body was just venting as much as possible. So it was it just made it so that I couldn't even smell it for about five years. But then we learned how to make it when we went to Thailand. It's very true. Uh, if I could only have one spicy cuisine, it's for me, it's so easy. It's Indian food. I love every single thing about it. It is my favorite cuisine of all. If I could only have one cuisine, it would still be Indian. Uh, the mix of flavors, there it, it's impossible to say it's one thing. It is so many levels of uh, of food. Um, I, I I could make me. It could probably make me vegetarian because there's so many it's of the great vegetarian. vegetarian dishes. But again, the way that you can have, you know, lamb sog is my favorite dish. Mm-hmm. Um, there is nothing I think is better than lamb sog. But if I could only have one spicy uh, dish, mm-hmm. uh, it would probably be Szechuan. It would be like a, like a Szechuan uh, 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 fried beef mm-hmm. where you get that sort of... The red the red chilies and the oh, Szechuan, that, that Szechuan is, chili peppers. If there, there is some, if there's something I love about uh, Chinese when they, uh, especially on Chinese when they make spice, it's so bright and just, it's, it's n- everything is in top notes. And mm-hmm. it's just light, and it's white pepper, and it's... 
Which is, which is, I, I cooked with white pepper for the first time ever, maybe two years ago, and I was quite surprised. It's an amazing as, as flavor. A, as, a, as like, you know, because when you taste dishes as like the final dish, you know that you're picking up on notes of stuff, yeah. but you don't necessarily what those notes are, like yeah. know what those notes are when they're pulled apart. So white pepper was a surprise yeah. for me yeah. a little bit. Let's go over there and see what the Let's people have to say. Let's see what the people have to say. All right. What is going on over here? Oh. Um, oh. Oh. Key, oh, Kiwi Cowboy, give us a follow. That's nice of you. That's so good. Nice. That's um, refreshing. There it we is. are. Uh, always blame the dog. <laughs> uh, German and American accent. Where are the Brits? Ah, uh, where are the we're Brits? We're in Canada. Man. We're in Canada. That's, it's, it's German and, and... I mean, the Brits were here. That's why we're here. Um, <laughs> Szechuan but... for the tangy, spicy flavor from Ruby Rose. Yeah. And Misty loves Indian food. I spicy love it. Korea, yeah. Uh, I'm with you on Indian food. Yeah, and I, th I think there's that's Indian food is so fascinating because there's so and, and I find it was one of those things that I didn't come across it till I was probably in my late 20s. What? What's going on? <laughs> Popular opinion, all spicy meals are the same to me. I don't taste anything. Like only, only my, my cries. <laughs> Well, you know what, Baron? We can change we that. We can change Baron. that. And again, not in a scary way, just a little because the different peppers do. Different things. Different heat. And like, I love, I'm going to use Frank's uh, Red Hot today for my buffalo sauce. I love I don't like. Frank's Red Hot. Dan, it's really, he thinks it's like the most ratchet of the hot I sauces. don't call it ratchet. It's just, it's, it's, it's spicy vinegar, which I don't find particularly. I like spicy vinegar, but. Um. I, if it's I, if I like my, a hot it's sauce, only when my gut is wrong. It's funny. I like a hot sauce. Last time we did the the too damn hot episode, mm -hmm. we did the hot wings challenge, mm -hmm. and we got there. We're over there right now. Oh, I know, but I'm talking to you. I know, but <laughs> but we got the uh, the the last hot so, the, the, the the last last stand hot sauce, which is insanely hot. Last dab. Insanely hot, but I love it. I find it's really hot, but the flavors in it are so fantastic. It's not unlike uh And that I'll disagree with you. I tasted that hot sauce. I put like literally a dab and it gave me hiccups right away and that like, <laughs> I had no I, I Oh it's hot. Don't get I wrong. had no taste after that because it wiped out my taste buds. My lips went numb, my tongue went numb. Um but there's stuff like below yeah. crying and numbness that's yeah. tasty. And, good. and again, I don't think something has to be insanely hot to be considered spicy. No, but I think people, I think people wear that. How much spice can you tolerate as a badge of honor? And I agree with Baron that sometimes when it yeah. gets too spicy, it literally there it's devoid of flavor. It's just heat. But that's what I think I love about Mexican spice yes. as well, because Mexican food cuisine tends to use a lot of peppers. That there are a lot of peppers that aren't hot. The anchos and the poblanos, where you've got some, they just inc add incredible mm -hmm. flavor mm -hmm. to them. But that's what I find interesting is the flavor palette that you get from these using different but it's, chilies. But it's it's it is, but it's clearly a peppery, a, a pepper well, based a spice base, yeah. fla flavor. You know, I mm -hmm. love that. It's very good. C'est très bon. Merci, tout le monde. Hey, maintenant. Hey, maintenant quoi? Oh, we're gonna do some. Uh, I'm gonna make some batter. Make some batter, 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 batter. So we batter. batter, batter. Um, all right, I'm just gonna grab some ingredients. So you're over gonna here. grab the ingredients. And Actually, why don't I grab the ingredients? Are you talking? No, to if you could do me one favor though, yeah. because I didn't want to take this out of the um, fridge. So don't, don't, gonna, don't come over I here. Know, and talk I know, to the people. It's too late. I've already done it. Hi I've everybody. Already screwed up. Um, I'm gonna do Shauna. Uh, I, oh, sorry. I said I'm Duyan. Oh, you're doxing I mean, me now. Duyan. Everyone's uh, doxing me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm suddenly I'm Chef Duyan. I mean, regular person Duyan. I just needed to get the milk because given that it's a bazillion degrees in our house, I did not want to leave the milk sitting on the counter. No. Because I don't like to make people sick when it can be avoided. And <laughs> that's where you and I differ. Yes, entirely. But they do say opposites <laughs> attract. You just keep waggling that dumb thumb and people... <laughs> I, I like my blue thumb. It's my dumb thumb. My blue, that was a, it was, a, it was a bad choice. It was so funny because that was all about the saw. And then I was like, oh, and I finally got through all the bone and that was fine. And then I just did one slice with a knife and I went, oh, right into my thumb. <laughs> oh, I thought you cut, you cut your finger with a knife? Yeah. Oh, I thought you cut it with the saw. No, that was the whole thing. I had done all of the sawing portions, worried <laughs> because I was trying to balance things that it was going to and it wasn't the greatest saw. 
got through all the bone, and finally just put the knife in and went into my thumb. And you effed it up, huh? And I fucked it up. Yeah, you fucked it up. Uh, all right, let's take a look at what we're doing here. We're going to make a batter. A batter? I mean, do you want me to pull up your ingredients? Could you please? Yes, I can. I just want to go wrong. I will here. tell you right now, I've got three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. Now, friendlies. I have seen this recipe done with flour and sans flour. If you're trying sans to flour. sans flour. If you're trying to be gluten-free, you can do the sans flour. Or you might want to try a different kind of flour, like a rice flour or a chickpea flour. I have not uh, tried it, that is. You try. You let me know if it works. Um, into this, we've got the flour. We've got here, let me just measure out my stuff while that's still up there. Oh, you brought a guest. You brought the guest on. Yeah. We got one teaspoon of paprika. And, and this, this, this dish does require one dog. One, one puppy? One dog. Sorry. We knew you were, we thought you were coming up to be a guest, but you are coming up to be an ingredient. No. My sister will never speak to me again. Well, she shouldn't let us have the dog then. We've got one teaspoon of paprika, two teaspoons of garlic powder. That was a very hefty teaspoon. Oh. I'm just going to... Are you, are, are you comfortable now with being on camera? This is, you don't want to go now. Hi. You just want to hang out. Hi. You're cooking food, don't you? I know. I wasn't going to touch them. I just wanted my ingredients back. I just want to dip them in there a little bit. Yeah, I just want to batter them. Would you like a, would you like a shoe fly punch? No, that's probably not very good for him. Would We're you like a go, shoe fly? Yeah, just one shoe fly. Um, Some shoes over there. we got a teaspoon of salt. i got a couple of twisties of pepper. Says half a teaspoon. Use your eyeballs and your taste balls. <laughs> and your cake balls? Your taste balls. Oh, your taste balls. Uh, your, your and I've got balls. three quarters of a cup of milk. This happens to be cow milk. I am sure you could probably use some other permutation Whatever of milk. Whatever kind of milk you like. Nut milk, oat milk, goat milk. There's I don't, a, there's I a don't. lot of milks that I don't think we had to... Uh, to uh, we never had with Steph's there. Hi, Steph. Oh, my sister's there. You need some, some sunscreen. sunscreen next time. Okay, first of all, this could honestly just be because it's a bazillion degrees in the house. But this is also redheaded tan. For anyone who's concerned, two days like this, and then I look like a regular person who's Regu tanned. <laughs> regular tan person? Regular tan person. And again, I, and it's funny because no matter what, and I am, for myself, considerably tanned, I, I, I still look like it's winter. But you don't because, like... I get, I get freckly. I get freckly too. I might, I might just be having a flash. You never know. These days, who knows? All right. So can we just go overhead? Fans of the side? flash know what we're talking about. Can we just go overhead for one second? Yes. Let's go on overhead. Boom. Oh. That's, <laughs> that's not on. What is that? Let's go back Let's to go back off, here, and, and I just, will figure out why they overhead. It's okay. It's why working. don't you just bring the fly cam here instead? No. That's just that's but fine. I, I understand, but we don't we don't necessarily need that. So that's what your batter looks like. And here we go. Vroom. We just did a quick whisk on that. It's pretty thick. Um, mm -hmm. Just combined. And again, I have seen recipes for this, my friends, that don't involve any kind of flour at all, just milk and spices. You could try that, but I don't reckon it's going to crisp up the same way that a flour uh, batter is gonna work. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. Oh, like, trying to do oh, all of this at once. It sounds like trying to push all the buttons at once. Yeah, I'm trying to push all the buttons at once. I'm and, gonna, I'm gonna... um, also, my I thought my sister was on an airplane. Aren't you on an airplane? Um, maybe we're maybe we're broadcast on. I would go. I would. I would. I'm just gonna, Where are you going? I'm just gonna do. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what's happening. I'm just gonna. Fix now there's that. a ladder. Stuff fix is happening. That. Um. So yeah, Steph, uh, safe flight. Cheers. Um, so we got the batter done. We We're go. just going to let that sit for a few minutes, not because it needs to, but because we've got other things to do in the interim, and then we will batter our choufleur or cauliflower, depending on uh, which language you feel more comfortable in. Uh, you're going to get barked at because you're touching something that's very tall. He yeah, he knows he about the bark. He doesn't like that. All right, now I just want to make sure that... Maureen we're... thought you were on the stairway to heaven. <laughs> I just want to see what... Does this work? We got, we got something now? Hey, look at that! Lucky! All right, so that's our batter. I'm going to go back to the main can. <laughs> now that we know that Thank works. Thank you for fixing that. We know that it works now. Um, 
Back to the main can we go, and in a few minutes we're gonna dunk our cauliflower in here mm. and uh, get some get some stuff happening. Yes. Y'all son. Yes. Queen. Stairway to heaven, actually. I, I, that's what I call the stairs up to our bedroom. Oh. <laughs> and that's how you get beautiful women to Tolerate foolishly you. believe they should marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! Uh, oh, I should get this out of the way. Let me yeah, maybe. Move my lemon. Although, do you know I was watching on TikTok today somebody talking about, um, I guess they're like a fitness guru or whatever, and they're always squeezing their lemons, and they were like, if you're like me, you make a lot of extra, like, lemon rind, and they were talking about some of the things you can do. Do with lemon rind? With your squeezed out lemons, and one of them is clean, put some salt in it, and clean all the stainless steel in your kitchen. And I thought, how how groovy. No that's, chemicals for cleaning. That's and a great you're idea. using them... The one I thought, I, one I came across on TikTok was the lady who did, uh, when you peel your potatoes, uh -huh. you take the potato peels and you, she did it in uh, garlic pow garlic salt and, and oil and then just made sort of quick chips, chips qu crisps out of the, or sort of, sort of a, a fried potato skin or a, a, I think she baked them. It was, they looked really good. Was it good. just the skins or did she leave like some of the potato on there? It was like exactly if you peeled a potato. Really? It was like that. Yeah. I think the only thing you'd have to be super careful about that is to properly, um, Peruvian ceviche. I'm not really sure what that comment has to do with anything, but you can feel That's free. That's what we want to, she wants us to call her from now on. Oh, it's no, no, <laughs> no, no more salty, salty margarita. margarita. Now you're it's just Peruvian, Peruvian ceviche. ceviche. <laughs> you have graduated to the next level. <laughs> I would argue that Peruvian ceviche is probably fancier than a salty margarita. So yeah, I think this should but be. But I'd still rather have a margarita. <laughs> <sighs> No, I know it is seafood ceviche, but like, is that your favorite spicy food? Are that's you just like, I, I'm are you sure, just like the party? Peruvian ceviche is a very, it, it can be quite spicy. Yeah. No, I'm just wondering if that's, if she was just. I think she was, she was she catching was up. Gotcha. gotcha. I, that's what we're saying. If not, then if you take this as the comedy it is, then I think it still works. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We will try it when you make it for us. Huh? We, uh, it is time. It is time. Now that your your buffaloes are cauliflowering. No, just my batter's battered. Your collies are flowering. My batter is battered. Yes. Like a collie cauliflower, of course, Lassie's favorite flower. Um, <laughs> I, we dog just, jokes and vegetables. Uh, all in one. It is time to talk to the man himself. He wasn't here last week because, as we all know, he was better in every place. other week on he goes and works with doctors uh without, without borders. borders and and it's not the organization you think it it's doctors who really uh touch people too much no that's uh, doctors without boundaries oh sorry i got those confused <laughs> um oh i just went off and wrote a whole skit i know doctor we have to do doctors, <laughs> without, doctors boundaries. without boundaries kind of like pigs in yes <laughs> and we have now, but he is here for us tonight. He is the greatest chef that never the was. world has ever seen. The food he makes will make the Pope weep and get Something a tattoo should, you know what? head to toe Something of him. Make the Pope weep. Um, um, it will. It, 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 if he could taste this man's food, the Pope may actually. Admit to some of the crap that the chat uh, Catholic Church is like. We're mixing uh, metaphors here. I know, but it's a fun metaphor to mix. But he's here, and he's always a joy and a disappointment. It's Chef Duyan. Chef Duyan is invisible. Where is Chef? It's one invisible Chef Duyan. Uh oh, did we uh -oh. lose Chef Duyan? Is there a ghost in the machine? Perhaps. One never knows. Chef Duyan. Oh, the doggy is looking so confused. Are you confused, Ollie? <laughs> Where is Chef Duyan? Where? I don't know. He quit. He quit. Did <laughs> he he walk tired. off the job? He was tired of you saying that he was a disappointment every week, so he quit. You can't. You you can't be mean to the talent. I'm sorry. I don't understand. We're Did not. He stupid. leave us a message. <laughs> We're um. Uh, we don't stand for that anymore. We treat our talent properly now. They are the talent. <laughs> He's not there. I can hear. Can I hear him? Chef Duyan is now the, the invisible, invisible man. man. <laughs> oh, hi from vacation, Galadriel Caress. Hope you're having fun. Looks like you're having a good time. Oh, well. Um, um, we'll come back to Chef Duyan. 
Well, it does say a hot mess underneath. So he maybe is? He, he a little bit, a little that, bit. Um, well, let's... Um, here's what I can do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this implement out of my ear. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to very Size quickly it. grab some cauliflower in a florette. Um, friends. Don't let friends cut their cauliflower too small. Why, El Diablo? Because if you cut these too small and you batter them, they're going to get like goopy and weird. Excuse me. Yes, I'm excusing you. So I've got one or two little florets here that I don't think are small enough. Maybe he had a jello emergency. Maybe he had a jello emergency. Um, so if you could just go overhead for one yes, sec. Yes, going Lee. overhead. I am cutting these about this big and I'm taking off the stems for the most part. Why? Because wings don't have stems. Um, I'm just going to quickly correct your spacing. Thanks. I think that's uh, a end. He was saying I was here. He could hear us, but we couldn't see him. All right. Well, we'll come back to you in one quick second because I just want to get, now that we've moved on from you, <laughs> um, I just want to get these done super fast. You're gonna do that. So, again, we don't want these teeny tiny. Nobody wants to like eat this size of a wing, right? Yes. But nobody does. These are good. These are good. Pretty good. All right, I'm gonna grab my batter and I'm gonna grab a parchment lined baking sheet. While you do that, I'm just going to quickly... Uh, you do what you got to do. I'm going to get a hold of the Chef Deanne. I am just going to dunk these guys in here. Give them a quick dip ski. Now, there is definitely a more efficient way of doing this than doing them individually. You could put the batter, if you wanted to, in a Ziploc and throw your cauliflower inside and, like, smoosh them all around. But I'm, I'm doing this instead. Because um, I want a nice even battering on You want here. a nice even smattering of your battering? I would like more than a smattering of battering. I would like like a good battering. So Ah, a fine battering. Yes. Uh, and friends, as far as I'm concerned, I'm like, I'm a fancy lady. I don't like to get super dirty all the time, but like, don't be afraid to get your hands a little dirty. As long as they're clean, of course. If you're cooking for other people, you might contemplate a glove. Well. You put them in my ear because my ear. hand is full of batter. All right. Well, he's here. We figured out the problem. The problem was, I think, uh, uh, Technology? Skype crashed. But he and, 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 and Skype crashed only because it couldn't handle the hotness, the hotness of his presence. It's the one, the only Chef Duyan. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Chef Ian. Yeah, there you are. Hey, you are. Hey, it? I don't know what happened. I could hear you fine. We could not hear you, nor could we see you. Yes. You were invisible. Blah, blah, blah. You, were, you, were, you were not quite usable. Oh, well. Shit happened, I guess. <laughs> it so, does, indeed. It does. How are you, Chef Ian? I'm good. How about you guys? Good. I'm digging this t-shirt. Very fancy. Thank you. All right. Yeah. All right, so, what are we doing today? What Chef do you Ian? have for us today, Chef Dian? Well, today's too damn hot, mm -hmm. and we're going to do some hot jello. Hot jello? Isn't that just called very, water? Very, very hot jello. Hot jello is in spicy or hot like it's just going to be temperature hot? Uh, as in spicy. Okay. Spicy jello. Spicy jello. Spicy jello. So, what are we going to need for spicy jello? Wow, well, need... you show us. A glass. You're gonna need Knox gelatine and a bit of hot water. So, just waiting for my hot water to be ready. And it is near. What is this, amateur hour? There we hey, go. Hey, making fun of Chef Deanne is my job. Oh, sorry. Stay in your wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped yeah, out I of my lane. Oh, no. <laughs> Please, All right. Chef Deanne, so continue the to hot water disappoint us. Glass. We're gonna add some Knox gelatine, classic. We're gonna sprinkle it in the glass. Fantastic. There we go. So, so far, shit. no flavor at all in this. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, flavor's coming. 
Trust Flavors, me, the flavor, flavor is coming. We're going to Flavor Town. Yeah, yeah, we're going to Flavor Town. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So once the, the gelatine is, is there. Condescension is palpable. <laughs> once the gelatine is there, let it sit for about a few seconds, just so it it start uh, adding to the water. Then we're gonna mix it. So you just mix the gelatine uh, up until it's dissolved in your water. Shouldn't take too long. You know, Chef Diane, last week I made guimauve and I had to uh, use gelatin and I didn't know that gelatin blooms the way yeast kind of blooms and that if you leave it in water, it sort of does kind of a similar thing que la, la levure does. It sort of has to like do its, do its thing. I didn't know that. Yeah. Also, did you know if you eat it without any flavor, it's disgusting? <laughs> No, I didn't know that, but do you know that if you eat it, uh, if you just eat the powder, it makes jelly right. in your stomach? Did you know so that? Once the gelatine is dissolved in the water, what we're going to need is two things. We're going to need Frank's hot sauce. Yeah, man. Apparently, yeah. they put that shit on everything. They do, oh, or they should. Is, it is, it's a terrible hot sauce. It's not. Uh, I like Frank's hot sauce. I like, too. Like, it's not my favorite. I, 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 and it's funny because for somebody who has Frank's hot, I also know what other hot sauce you have at your house. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, <laughs> see? Leave so we're going to mix up magic. the Frank's hot sauce. Uh, mix it up uh, until it it's up. dissolved and it's a beautiful orangey color. All right. There you go. That so looks like it smells done. spicy. We're going to get the Hellfire ghost pepper sauce. Ooh. Oh, a little Hellfire ghost pepper. Yeah, that's a I like a good. I, I like a ghost pepper sauce. I think ghost pepper is a really good spice. It's a good pepper. I think you should tell Baron that. And Baron, when you eat the ghost pepper, your tears just disappear. Do you know who also really likes ghost peppers? Uh, Pac-Man. Uh -huh. Pac-Man, yeah. Go waka, ghost waka. pepper, so you add a lot of that sauce in. Ah. <laughs> Oh no. Who's oh eating this? Is that in? Mixing it up. Mix that in, please. Mix Chef that in. in. Mix in the ghost pepper sauce. Mix in the ghost pepper sauce with the Frank's hot sauce. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my god, I'm yeah. having acid reflux Flavor just watching this. Wait for it. And then we're going to put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes to 4 hours and we'll see what the fuck happens. Well, uh, I think it's going to be spicy. <laughs> Chef Diane, I cannot oh, wait to up. see what this does, not only for our viewership, but also to your colon. <laughs> Happy well, me and my colon will see to you. Later. you. Chef Diane, everybody! <laughs> Here, let me uh, depenetrate you. Thank you for unpenetrating me. Depenetrate? Un unpenetrate. To me, D is more active. And un is just negative? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, un, un is just the opposite of. Yes, but at the same time, once you've penetrated, you might need to, like, unpenetrate. But I think that's a depenetrate, because you, to penetrate is an action, to depenetrate is an action. And unpenetrate is not an It's just an a fact. Oh, now, now, now X thing That thing has been unpenetrated. Understood. English is this, just part of one of the services This we is offer. why you watch this show. And it's viewers like you that have really made us ramble Happy. on. <laughs> um, okay, I don't so know where are we at with your, where you're, with your, your cauliflower I'm, rings? Um, okay, so this batter is fairly thick, which I think is good. Mm -hmm. But it, it makes for an interesting coating process. No. So like... I can now understand to a certain degree why people said put it in a bag and shake, shake, shake. But um, I can also see that not working. But I see, so what, well. I see what you're doing here, and I think this is you're getting a better coat. Uh, and so now I just got frustrated and I stuck all the last little bits in there. And well, they're just, just the tiny bits. And I'm just going to get dirty, and with, that's with, okay. Because... Nice, and this is the thing I like about cauliflower wings is because you have those little tiny bits as mm -hmm. well, you get some of the crunchy ones and you get some of the sort of meatier ones that have that have sort of a denser And that's probably the reason that unless you're gluten-free, I would use some form of flour in this because it is gonna crunch up. Like I definitely have over-battered some of these, I'm not gonna lie. 
Um, it's, Why would you it's lie about very that? It's warm. a weird thing it's, to lie about. It's very warm in here, and I find things are sticking in a particular way. <laughs> Tell me about um, it. Mm. <laughs> Um. Across the board, apparently. Um, so I've got one more of this little bites to throw on all here. All right. And there we go. This is all battered. If you want to stick that over there, just go overhead for one sec. That would be great. I'm going to do that. So I'm here we have. Wash my hands. Our overhead. This is. They're over battered. Our sure. over battered. Uh, cauliflower buffalo wing. So there's no spice in this. There is. Yeah. There's paprika. Sure, paprika. Well, paprika. I don't and really consider garlic that powder. But no, there's no heat. Well, there's no buffalo sauce on that yet. We just, we want to give them a chance mm -hmm. to sort of crisp up in the batter This first. is going to give it almost a, a wing you, well, flavor. Well, I was just, I sorry, was just saying a thing. Um, we want to let them crisp up in the batter because if we were going to put the liquid on top now, yeah. it would just end up way too liquidy. Yeah. So we want to, want I'm going to pop these in the oven. Our oven's been preheating to about 450. I'm going to stick these in for 10 minutes and then I'm going to check on them, probably flip them, and then afterwards we'll put some sauce on them. Well, while we flip some wings, do you want to hear some hot music? I'd love that. We, uh, this is actually, this is something, uh, I was trying to find some music for the show and I realized we had the perfect song. We've used it before on the show, but it's such a great song. We've only played it once. I think it's got to come back. Most people I know don't just listen to a good song once. No. So I think it's okay. And this is an amazing song and it's actually a really cool video too. Uh, this is our amazing friends at the History of Gunpowder. And I thought we have a hot show. It's all about heat. Also, Alex is pretty hot. He's a freaking He's hot, a hot man. Hot man, hot, hot man. man. And this is their hot song. And they're coming out with a hot live album soon. Hot live album. But right now, the history of gunpowder. Wait, 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 don't, 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 don't do it. You're, always, you're tipping the bit. No, I didn't tip the bit. You tip the bit. It's the history of gunpowder and the song. No, you go ahead. Oh, you don't know the song? I do know the song, but I, I tipped the bit last time, so you know. Go no, ahead. you don't. Know. Battle Fire! <laughs> no, what was it? I said, Battle, Battle Fire! Battle Fire! Battle Fire! <laughs> Come out of the way. 
Boom! The history of gunpowder. And Alex yes, Morrison. And all of the hotties. And yes, so good. So, so good. I, I I love the way that shot. I love the look of it in the in the. It's clearly in some sort of alley or some sort of area behind mm. a. Just love his voice, and oh. I love the fact that like that's a like that's for all intents and purposes like sometimes he has like almost a full orchestra, and I oh. and I love it. They're just musically brilliant, just and great guys, sexy people, people. and. Um, it's not just it's not just dudes. No, I said sexy people. There are sex. I know. I I corrected myself. Sex peeps. Sex. There are sex peeps. There are sex peeps. You know what? That's my favorite part of Easter. The sex peeps. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny joke. <laughs> and I think this next Easter, I'm making sex peeps sex for the peeps. show. Yeah, I'm going to figure out what show. that what that means. I've got a uh, whole almost year to figure out how to make uh, sex peeps. Sex peeps nail Jesus on the cross. No. That's, no, I, you went there. I was not going to go there. I was just going to go to sex people. Yes! I'm happy about that idea. Let's make some wing sauce. Wing sauce! Here we go. Can you just bring up my ingredients for one oh, quick second? Sure. Because in this um, petit pot... There you go. I have um, some hot sauce. I've actually doubled it because I wasn't... Now, you're using attention. Franks? I used Franks. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so Much to your dismay. No, but you didn't specify anything, so I just put hot sauce. You're using Frank's. I'm using Frank's because it's a, it's a, it's a buffalo wing. Traditional. So it, this is a traditional buffalo hot you sauce. You know what I think it is about the Frank's? It's, it's the, there's vinegar I love in it. the vinegar. But it's also, it tastes of red bell pepper to me. I'm not a big fan of red Fine. bell pepper. Oh, the other hand can is showing the wings. Oh, I that, guess uh, that is showing the wings, isn't it? But that's okay. We've it's kind of interesting. It's um, <laughs> we just get over here. I, I, yep, yeah, go. You go. I'm just gonna. Wow. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, this is how hot it is, friends. You can't see because the overhead cam is frozen. My solid coconut oil has gone liquid, sitting on the counter for all of literally 15 minutes. So into this hot sauce, I'm putting. And here you are. I am putting, there the recipe go. called for two tablespoons for a quarter cup of hot sauce. I actually, when, there no, you one, go. when no one was looking, I put half a cup of hot sauce in here because I like dipping sauce. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra coconut oil, but I'm not I'm not going to a full four tablespoons. Why El Diablo? Because I don't wanna. I don't think it's you necessary. Don't feel you need to. I don't feel I need to, and in all fairness, I've never done this with coconut oil. I've done this with butter. Normally I would do a quarter cup or half a cup of hot sauce, two tablespoons of butter, and that would be my sauce. Yes. But this intrigued me. And I was coconut like, oil. coconut oil and du miel, oh. a little bit of honey. Honey honey in your hot sauce, I, I do get that. Mm. Honey in your hot sauce is what you call me. Um, ah. Ha ha. All right, so again, I am leaving all these ingredients handy because everybody That's likes a me. handy, um, but I'm um, I'm leaving these ingredients at hand because, like I said, I messed with the proportions a little bit. But I think we just need to flip those over. I'll flip. I'll take care of flipping. You take I'll, those. I've got that. Oh, you got that? Yeah, I got that. So we're just gonna heat this up, and we're not cooking anything, right, friends? The, this is all of these things are technically cooked ingredients or raw ingredients that you can eat raw. I just want to blend them a little bit. We're just going to give this sauce, I think it's interesting because um, Danny D always complains that this is too vinegary and too um, capsicum, if you will, red red pepper. So by adding the honey and the uh, coconut oil, we're changing the flavor profile a bit differently than we would with butter. And I personally am quite curious to see how this tastes because it's just a different, um, it's different than what I'm used to doing. I think the addition of honey to this is interesting. And ironically, given that I just spoke to you guys about how much I love Thai food, I find the coconut oil makes it taste more Asiatic. It tastes less American buffalo wing than it would with butter. Oh, okay. If we were just using butter, this would taste like your average, you know, uh, wild wing or whatever. But the coconut oil, 
I'm just going to go back to the main can here. Yeah, you can do that. Um, no, no worries. I find the coconut oil really, it sort of, it, it changes the dynamic a little bit. And I think it's, you know, again, if you're into this, if you like that kind of thing, um, try it out. I'm just going to bring them over here too, show them what we've done over here. Cool. And, and oh. sorry, while you're doing that, I'm just going to say this is done. It's combined. It doesn't need to oh, boil. I'm in the chat can. I'm going to hit the, well, the yep. fly can. I'm just saying, don't need to boil. This is done. Go in the fly cam. Fly cam. We're on the fly cam. Now this is, we just all, uh, turned our wings over, our, our cauliflower wings. This is what they're looking like right now. This is after 10 minutes of cooking. Obviously the batter wasn't, I didn't do a great job. The batter no, wasn't no, super even. Because it didn't get underneath it. That's all right. We're, we're good on some of the, on a lot of this stuff. I think it's going to give some I think what flavor. I'm going to do very quickly, because whatever, is just, trying to get I in just, there. No, I was just yeah. trying to get in there and like add some extra batter, but that's not um, going to happen. It's not going to happen. No, the right. batter is, is, is cooked already. I yeah. need to, can you flip me back over there? So I, I can, can flip, flip you back. Flip. Can you put those back in for 10 more yeah, minutes, do please? That. We're good? All yep. right, we're good. <clears throat> Pardon me. The cauliflower in the batter is just going to cook for 10 more minutes. We I only put it on for 10 minutes so that we could flip them over. And again, I already know, and this is why um, why I love cooking. I already know what I did wrong. I already can see it, but you know what? What did you do wrong? I don't think I battered them evenly, so maybe... But I think that's... But you have a liquid batter. I think at any point you're going to get some liquid batter. Even if you put it on the back, it's going to sort of displace a little bit and sit on the... I No, I hear what you're saying, but I think had I put the batter in a Ziploc and thrown the cauliflower inside and shook it mm -hmm. really well, like this, by the way, international symbol for either horseback riding or shaking stuff in a Ziploc. Um, I think had I done that, but, it would have distributed more equally. And because I was trying to like dunk and, dunk yeah, and, yeah, yeah, dunk and twist, it wasn't working. But as I well. also think that the other way would be to deep fry that. So if you would have deep fried what you had done, it was so it, I don't think it would have mattered where because you're sitting it on a, on a tray, and that's also possibly the thing is that the way the way like the it's a heavy batter and the way that the batter dripped mm -hmm. it dripped heavy so it's not coating everything anyway you make one mistake one time you try it a different way next you time never it's say pie you and never grow know. big deal you never know. that's what's going no on no one died from my bad battering so we we coat you, you have a coat there twice what about the second coat there because for? we coated the cauliflower in batter. Yeah. We cooked it for 10 minutes. Oh, we then we're going to coat it. it in this later. We're cooking it another 10 minutes just to crisp up the things okay. before we add another liquid right. element so to it. So we got 10 more minutes 10 more before minutes we coat it in this and, and then, then we put it, put back, it back, in. back in the oven. This sounds very good. It's going to be tasty. Uh, also for my air fryer friends, you can use exactly the same recipe. Chuck them in the air fryer right at air fryer. 375, I think was the temperature I saw for like 15 minutes. And, um, you know what we're not missing? We're missing out of that? What? Second cocktail. Oh. We don't have a second cocktail on that list. Well, it's 6.15. Maybe we should do that. Do I, I tell you what. Why don't we do that? Okay. And then we'll do this. That, that sounds gives me, good. That's me it gives me time over. to take my stuff so out can, of here. We can hide the mystery of where do my ingredients come oh, from. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like that. Keep the mystery alive. So it's sexy woman time. I like it. Every week we like to bring you a sexy woman. She will eat a food for approximately 60 seconds, some say a minute. And this week, it's a hot, 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 hot. Hot. Hot, 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 hot. Bring it home. Are you ready for hot, 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 I don't hot, know hot. if I am, but I I'm think ready you to... know it's hot, 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 hot. If the dog knows oh. it's hot, hot, hot. Rawr. It's a sexy woman eating food ah. for, for one, one minute. minute.
Um, okay, so that was the wrong video. That was last week's sexy that woman. That was last week's sexy woman. I hit the wrong button. But you know what? I think I forgot to change something completely. But that was a very hot. It was very hot. It was very so hot. it still worked. Although pretty cool because she went in the pool. So see? Ah, ah. Levels. 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 So many. So <laughs> So that was Votre Dame. Yes. Being a sexy woman, the same one we had last week. I hit the. I guess I'd prob, I I forgot to load the right video in. That's all right. Well, for Sunday, see, here's the reason to tune in on Sundays because we Sunday. have sexy woman Sunday. Sunday. We'll bring up a new sexy woman. The That'll, new one will you, be there. Missed it, or maybe it'll just be on next week. I don't know. Yes. Or maybe we'll do both. Maybe we'll do a he new one saying, on Sunday and a new one. on Mystere. Oh. Oh, oh, everything changes all the time. All right, I'm going to leave you to do this for one second. We're going to make, this is a, a cocktail idea I came up with that I'm quite excited to try uh, because there are things that I love about it. One is the blackberry element um, and one is the pepper element. So we're, ma we're making a, a, a cocktail that I like to call the black and pepper. It's black and pepper martini. Um, in this, we're a martini. It's a martini because we're using uh, a lot of a, a single spirit. In this case, we're using uh, vodka, and specifically in this case, I'm using Zubrovka uh, bison grass mm. vodka for sort of a more uh, deep, rich, earthy tone to it. I love this. If you've never had this, uh, it's a fantastic vodka. It's also a flavored vodka. It's not really a flavored vodka. It basically, uh, it's a, I believe a Polish it's vodka. A vodka. Uh, yeah, it's it's basically uh, they they make the vodka uh, or flavor it from the grass in this one area where the bison roam. Uh, so it's technically bison urine flavored vodka, and it's delicious. Uh, to that, we're gonna add a little now. Uh, normally, the cocktail that I'm sort of basing this on use lemon juice, simple syrup, and. Uh, and, and blackberry to get the right flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm playing around with the blackberry shrub again. Again, we, we're in the land of the shrubs. So, mm, it's my myself. sister's dog. It's very good. Uh, so this is a blackberry shrub, which means this is uh, macerated blackberries. So I created a beautiful syrup out of just adding- How do you sugar. macerate with blackberries? How do I have macerate with black? So basically we just take blackberries, we put sh coated them in sugar, we let it sit for a couple of days, all that did is it pulled all the natural juices out of the blackberries, created this beautiful syrup. We added to that some apple cider vinegar. Hello, how are you? Well, very nice to see you. And it's uh, through that, just got this absolute, this, and this is one of my favorite ones. This is really a good uh, um, shrub. It's been sitting for uh, at least about a week and a half to two weeks at this point. So is this really combined? It's got enough syrup to it and it's got enough of that and to that we are gonna add some pepper now the first part i want to do and you notice i'm just going to put the pepper and you might say why are you putting the pepper into the mortar and pestle well it's because i'm going to even crush it up a little bit more i want to get this very fine and i find that this is really the best way so i'm going to put a fair amount of pepper into my mortar and pestle and then i'm just going to take the pestle part and we're just gonna really break that down, get a really nice fine powder. Counselor Michelle is watching. Hi, Counselor Hi, Michelle. Hi, Counselor Michelle. Hi, Counselor You're Michelle. You're totally radical, dude. You're totally radical, dude. So there we are. Can you grab me a spoon? I can. Just wanna scrape that out. So for this martini, and this is gonna be a shaken martini, I know. You're not James Bond. Well, but now I'm going to do a shaker dance without the puppy. Yeah, shaker dance without the puppy. Just have oh, to unpuppy my hands. like when you use your puppies for your shaker dance. Listen, my puppies come everywhere. With there me, you go, wherever you want. Wherever so, I am. So, first thing we're going to add to this is, again, one more time for the I'm recipe. I'm going to bring it up. Oh, Sorry, sorry just, just taking the dog off my hands. There you go. Here are the recipes. So, to this, we're going to add two ounces of our bison grass vodka. Boom. Also, if you've never tasted this, friends, this is this is a good vodka. It does not taste like your standard vodka. Oh, look, the grass came out. That's n I've never actually seen that happen. <laughs> I've never seen really, really, really. it's, it's a miracle. To that, two ounces, we are going to add an ounce of our blackberry shrub. This is going to give us uh, three things. Our flavor. Mm-hmm. 
our acid, mm -hmm. and our syrup, so our sweet, all in one element. And color, yeah? So it's and like a fourfold. Color, yeah, we'll get some color. And now, the last thing we're going to want to do is go in here. We're going to take our pulverized pepper. The pulverized or pepper? Is pepper. that like, waiter, there is too much pepper in my paprika? Yes. So I'm going to take... Name the movie, old friends. Meaning friends who are old. I don't. I don't. Do you have to be that old? I so. I don't know that that's a very common in the. Oh, zeitgeist. it's like literally one of the most popular romantic comedies of all time. I understand, but I still don't think it's like in the zeitgeist anymore, oh. really. So we're gonna add. I, I I this says like a. You know, it says like a quarter ounce. I don't. I think it's like a quarter of a teaspoon is really what you don't need too much in this. So we're gonna add that here, grab the, the, the ice too, please. Yes, for sure. See, this is why I said don't turn this on, because I have to move it. You no, know, always just move it and then move it back. I can. <laughs> then what if it's not in the same spot? Fair. Okay. You deal with those guys, I'll deal with this. So we're gonna put our ice into uh, the shaker tin. And oy, oy, oy. wait till she deals with that. Done. And it's time. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. Oh, Are you ready to shake yes. your dance? Hold on. Here we go. All right. There we go. Like yes, that. thank you, oh, Misty. When Harry went out. And there, we take this and we're gonna add this. Now we got two nice martini glasses here because of course, this is a beautiful martini. And then we'll pour that and get this. Oh, look at that color. I love that color. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on there? I'm having an explosion. An explosion? <laughs> now normally I would have double strained this. I just forgot my, double, my second strainer. Oh, and while you do that, I'm gonna quickly run over here. I'm not really doing much, just putting back my disaster. Now, I put for a garnish in this the blackberry and the mint, but I think really all you need for this. There's one pretty blackberry? One pretty. That is a pretty blackberry, though. Blackberry. Like nice... I want to sit high on the drink. Just I gonna... normally like to sit high. There you go. There you go. There we go. Set that setting. high on the drink. So it's. Here we go. One more on this one. Oh, look at that. Sitting high on the drink. Oh, hi, Delica. And lastly, we're gonna turn our choke up on our peppermint, so we're getting the finest grind possible. Oh, don't put pepper in my drink. Well, it's a pepper drink. <laughs> I get that, but. There we go. I don't need extra. So there we have the black and pepper. Am I allowed to give it a spin so that yes. not all the pepper yeah, ends up sure. in my mouth in the for first sure. in the first go for round? Sure. There we are. Chin, thank you for this mm -hmm. experiment. Oh, yeah. Oh. That is amazing. Oh. And hi, Delica. That's what I just said. Oh, so you did. I did. Yeah. That is a really tasty... I'm Blackberry so... and black pepper. Friends, I am actually genuinely blown away by how tasty this mm. drink is. You get the pepper. It, it, it adds a little spice. Yeah, but the, the shrub... What are we cooking? Right now, we're making cocktails. This is our own. This is my own cocktail. It's called a black and pepper. It's a blackberry... Uh, and blackberry and black pepper martini. Martini. And uh, I am <clears throat> about to go brush our buffalo cauliflower wings with buffalo sauce. This is so. It's our hot episode. This, this is too damn hot. Too damn hot. So we, are, we are stir crazy. Spice. Thanks for showing up. Spicy cocktails. Spicy. What are you cooking? Yeah. What, or, what's in your wallet? Uh, <laughs> this is right. I love this. This is really this good. This is really good. This is really good. Yeah. And I wouldn't if you have... come over If you come out to this place here, I'll, this is what I'm going to make you. This is, this is a good drink. I swear I didn't think I was going to like this at all, and I prefer this to the first drink we you had. You didn't like the shoe slide on I didn't. I didn't dislike. I it. I like the shoe slide. I didn't dislike but it. But I like this a lot. Okay, just trying to get words out of my mouth. Sorry. Um, but this is a surprise for me, and I think honestly, if you did this with regular vodka, it would be It'd good. Be much but it wouldn't. Mm, no, I think it would be much boozier tasting. There's something about the bison grass and the blackberry and the pepper. That mm. all work really, mm -hmm. really well together. It's so good. This well, is so the good. Shrub, making the shrubs. This is my. This is. If you want a secret ingredient for to, life, to 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 sort of turn up any cocktails that you're making, learn to make a shrub. I will put up some videos. Yeah, we're gonna do that on the channel. How to make a basic shrub. 
Uh, but again, it's simple. We're talking about macerating some some fruit. That's when you go like this with the fruit. No, right? that's masturbating fruit, uh -oh. and you really can only do that to a jackfruit. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Uh -oh. um, <laughs> no. So Mas macerating. Macerating some fruit, so you get the syrup. Adding the, the the vinegar, so you get the acid. Letting it sit, so they combine and they mellow each other out, and you get this absolutely magical ingredient that even just adding this, I've been drinking for the past few days. Just when I want to drink, I'm a big fan of sake. I love sake; it's one of my favorite things to drink. Uh, sake with a little bit of I've been doing fig, a fig uh, shrub, and just sake with a little fig shrub. Oh, it's one of the nicest little refreshing drinks there is. And I'm going to say the one thing that I find interesting about this particular shrub mm -hmm. is some of them, and maybe it's just the proportions that you've used, I find some of them you can really taste the vinegar in it. This, I can't, like I, I know it's an acidic. There's acid it's an acid, it. but that's my thought is coming out of my mouth. It's an acidic addition to the vodka, yeah. but it doesn't have a very vinegar nose to it. But that, that also comes from aging. So the longer you age your shrub, the less of the sharp notes you're going to get from your vinegar. Mm. And the, the more, more the depth you're going to get into that sort of sugar sweetness of your syrup. This is really good. This is like... But it's the pepper I love. It's that sort of bright spice note at the end of it all. Like this is, this is like a surprise party in my mouth. As in, <laughs> it's a surprise that there's such uh -huh. a party happening in my mouth. This is I amazing. This is a surprise party in someone's mouth. You... Uh, I like your channel, but I don't speak very much English. It's what do you right. speak? What do you speak? Where are you from, Delica? Tell us about you. That's nice. That martini makes my mouth drool so good. Well, yes. when you get back from Newfoundland, after you've kissed all the fish, um, we can... I have some toonies. Those are martoonies. Qu'est-ce que tu parles de la car? No, maybe it's not English. Maybe it's something else. Est-ce que c'est français? Italiano? Espanol? Yeah. Spain. Ah, mucho gusto. Gracias. Encantada. We're in Spain. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's so awesome. I used to speak way better Spanish, but I spoke like Mexican Spanish, not Spanish Spanish, which is, it sounds a little different, but... The only um, Spanish I spoke was German. Oh, Misty doesn't kiss fish. She only eats it. That's what, uh, that's what she said. So she said, is Misty saying she's never been screeched? I don't believe that for a second. Oh, I'm sure Misty's been screeched. Come on now. She's a newfie. I know. So she's I, not, I thought this so was she your, has to have kissed I the thought fish. This was, that's this all I'm saying. Is, yes, amiga. Um, I thought this was part of like, like if you're from Newfoundland, this is like part of your heritage. Like the old, <laughs> the old Canadian TV spots. The, uh. I, I, I've, been, I've been screeched in. When I'm in never... Halifax what, for an ad agency, the, everybody who ran the agency was from Newfoundland. And they had missed their Christmas party because they were too busy. So we had Christmas in, in August. And I had just started working for them. And they uh, screeched me in. at. And, they, I, and I've come up with the reason. The only reason why you have to kiss the cod after, being, after drinking the screech is to get the screech taste out of your mouth. Oh, they make the come from a ways kiss the fish. Ah, the come from a ways. The come from a ways. Okay. Oh. I'll, I'll kiss a fish. Speaking of come from a way, shall we ask another question? We shall. Let's ask another question of these beautiful people. You guys are all wonderful. Do you know Yes. What? Uh, also, um, encantada and mucho gusto and uh, welcome. Bienvenido, España. Yes. Yes, thank you. My very Spanish much. is not excellent, but I will make uh, an effort. We will try to make sure you're included in this. See. Uh, our our second question for today's show. Oh, that's oh, the wrong that button. That is not a question. That's not a question. That's a pot, and this has died again. It's okay. <laughs> what is generally what is something that is not generally considered hot or spicy that you think would be made better with a little heat? Edible panties? Edible panties, <laughs> did you just say? No, I don't think you need spicy edible panties. No, I don't, really? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, what is something that's not generally considered There is something I've had. There, was, there's, there used to be a place in Vancouver. There was an ice cream parlor. I was thinking ice cream. There was an ice cream parlor in... I lived in uh, near Commercial Drive in the east side of Vancouver. And there was this one ice cream parlor that was literally on the train tracks. If I don't brush these, we're not eating. So okay. let me, you keep talking and I'm on just On the gonna... train tracks. Okay. Uh, and it was a, an amazing ice cream parlor where they brought in, like, they would have hundreds of 
uh, uh, flavors of ice cream and, and uh, some really unique things because of a lot of the uh, Asian influence that exists mm -hmm. in Vancouver. You've got a lot of unique fruits and, um, and, and um, uh, uh, sort of co uh, fl flavor combinations that you would only get in, I think, in, in sort of Asian cuisine. Mm -hmm. uh, but they did a Tabasco vanilla. Nothing crazy spicy, but it would definitely had a little bit of that peppery Tabasco. Woo! Yeah, it that was, one out, peppery Tabasco. Woo! woo. <laughs> and it was fantastic. I, I really liked it. And I think I, there's certain ice creams that everything really can benefit from a little bit of heat. Well, I think it because it naturally, what do they say when your mouth is too hot? Drink milk, right? So it's like a natural um, built-in... Fails almost like almost like a fail safe, right? Of like, no, I, I mean the opposite. It's it's like you have built in the antidote right into the yeah. food. Like if you're doing a spicy ice cream, you're using the thing that you're supposed to I'm gonna give you some fly cam love. Put in your mouth to counteract the spice. We're just we're just brushing these friends and I didn't want to combine uh, questions and cooking at the same time, but if we don't get these back in the oven, we're not eating them. Ah. Um, for the end of the show. So. Blah from Miami. Hello, Miami. Hola. Messy is going there. Messy is going. We're doing some very messy stuff here. But it's tasty. Sometimes making a mess is like like messy sex, messy food. It's David all good. saying your Spanish is better than her English. Okay. Oh, that's um, very nice of you. I don't, I don't think so, but gracias. Um, <laughs> and keep tuning in and you can help my Spanish and I can help your yeah, English we'll and, sure you're, 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 and we can do cocktails and food. We can include that. Um, what What is something, so you think... What, I think an ice cream works. I think... Um, but I chose ice cream, so... I know you did. I don't, and our, our people who have been watching us for a while know that I don't often like to combine my sweet and my savory. I don't. I'm getting better at it. Like, I've finally started putting, like, fruit in salad and stuff like that. I'm a spicy for spicy, sweet for sweet kind of gal, but I think ice cream works. I think cheese, mm, believe it or not, like, but I, think, but I think anything with dairy, like I think yeah. because the dairy lends itself really nicely to absorbing the spice and counteracting the spice. So I think that like a spicy cheese. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I think is funny? The pepper in this is coming in. The more I drink this, the more the, easy? I'm, I'm just getting, there is some heat in it. I'm just going to give these one more little toss of Let's, buffalo sauce, yeah. and you just talk to the people. Let's see what the people, see what have, the people to have to say. What do the people have to say? What do they think? Um, uh, Misty says spaghetti sauce should like be a, spicy. Like arabiata style? Uh, like an arabiata? I, I don't, but I, I think that I agree. I like a spicy. But Michelle that Switcher says spiced chocolate. I love Yes. That's a good combination. Yeah, that's a great combination. Chocolate. Ask, uh, ask the whole Mexican Blas cuisine. Blas like, says Miami. I don't know if Miami. So should my, Miami be more spicy? And put chocolate. And put chocolate. Dessert in creme is so French, yes. That dessert in French is so creme. So Who's Blas 80? Talk to me. Spicy Do we know? Farty. T'es français? T'es québécois? Qu'est-ce qui se passe? <laughs> Parlez. Les wow. amis, let us wow. know you. We want to know all about you. Fruit salad with crushed pepper from Ruby Rose. Ru okay, Ruby, I make a mango salad ah, with... Ah, um, Bob is, is Catalan from Barcelona. Barcelona. Well, that's a Spanish. Uh, so Spanish many Spanish. fun Spanish people. Okay, I this makes and me... I don't know what happens. I don't know what it is with, with Twitch, if it's some sort of add-on to the algorithm, but I find it like we get a bunch of people that come in from, uh, 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 you know, Norway one day, yeah. And the next time it's like a bunch of people from, and I think it's kind of fun how everybody comes in, but then, welcome, welcome Spain. Bienvenido. Bienvenido Spain. Un peu de respect. J'oublie mon français. Un peu de respect. Mais il y a beaucoup de respect. On adore. Bad. I just don't. Audrey says pad thai not spicy is just stupid. And we are your friends. Canadian friends. They're the best kind because they will always... Let you go first. Uh, <laughs> we might do genocide, but we don't admit it. Um, <laughs> it took a dark turn. It did, but it was, that's it how was, I feel. It's very I can't, appropriate. I cannot be flip about being Canadian these days. No. I can't. Like, no. I used to be very like, oh, it's great to be Canadian. And I think, like, it's, there's a whole new me. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep. Uh, excellent. All right. So we have, those are now back in the oven cooking. 
Yes, those are going to cook for another 10. And we'll you have see. have your peppery cocktail? I have my peppery cocktail. Oh, good. I really like this. This is actually one of the best really? cocktails you've ever made on the show. I really like that. Because I, 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 for some reason, it's funny because as I taste it, I'm like, oh, this, this is right up your alley. Because mm-hmm. what I think is also is, is great with the shrubs is you don't get too much sweet. It's not cloyingly sweet. Uh, beep, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, this one, I, I, love, I, love, I love people who just keep sharing their emotions. And no, I'm all for it. We Can want that. Tell Bring us it out. Go. Wearing these shirts. Is this a good <laughs> shirt? As I said earlier in the show. He feels like mustard. I feel this is this is vacation Dwight from the office. Okay, well, um, Misty Portugal, you get to Newfoundland and then you get back from come Newfoundland. Come back. We will make and sure then there's one waiting for you. We talked about this yesterday. Um, I've got a whole bunch of blackberries. I'm going to make some more blackberry shrub. Plus, we can pick them near our house. Do you know, can I just talk for two Please seconds do. about how excited I am to live in the mountains now? There's a little fruit stand uh, down from our house. They grow their own corn. They've got hothouse tomatoes. We can like just go and get all local. You go, just keep talking. I don't. You're in my ear, though. The power of silence, as in you want me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> see, but when you're doing live, I can't just be silent. Nobody, no, nobody, nobody wants, can. Nobody wants to see that. Um, Speaking of someone who should be silent, it's time to go back to Chef Duyan. To Chef Duyan, he has been making a a hot pepper jello. Jello de and en français jello. No, J Lo is a whole different person. Uh, en français, Jennifer Lopez. No, en français, J Lo. Get his ass to the orange. It's time for Chef Duyan. Chef Duyan, are you there? Hello. 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 Hey. Good to see you. I can't hear Dan. Like, you can't hear me. Mel is working. Dan is not working. Well, you know what? That's we have one happens. set of headphones. If I sit here like this. You can probably hear. That's also how our relationship works. Normally, Elle is working and... Hey! Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> All right. So, All right. You guys want to see? So, okay. let's so, see what you got. So, so once again, hot sauce jello. Right jello. Hold on, let him talk. I just, for anybody who just tuned in, Chef Duyan made a very, very, very spicy jello. And now let's see how this goes down. Chef Duyan, do you have a glass of milk ready? No, I don't. (laughs) I don't know if that was a big enough taste. No, I'm waiting for a reaction of some variety. There's nodding, there's a little sweating. Oh, that there! Oh, there it goes! There it goes! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. The Chef ghost pepper was a mistake. Hold on, flavor. he's trying to. The ghost pepper was a mistake, <laughs> but the Frank's hot sauce actually is like that's that's. It's not okay, bad. so Chef Duyan, really I have to bad. ask a, I have to ask a question. If you were trying to make a fancy dessert with the Frank's red hot. Jello, would you put like a cool whip on top or like a dream whip to like no, melted um, chocolate? This is more like a jello cocktail. Like I right now now I'm thinking about it, like I could do like a nice Caesar. Jello Caesar. I was thinking that watching you. Okay. Yeah. But the ghost pepper was truly a mistake. Ghost pepper was a mistake because it's too effing spicy or because the flavor doesn't taste good? Or both. <laughs> both. Both. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like ass. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's well, spicy. it's all right. Hold we... on, he's, hold on. He's trying to explain to us how it tastes like ass. I want to know how he knows what okay. ass tastes like. I, no, but it's just, it tastes like ass and it's too spicy. But if I would have just done it with the Frank hot sauce, that would have been the success. So okay. this is, uh, this is not bad. This is not bad. Give me a few ideas. I have a few ideas now. Well, I'm excited was, to see I, what those I are. I thought this was going to be ridiculous, but actually, it might be something. It's partially good, partially shitty, but we can fix it, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Ah, just like life. Yeah. In COVID. <laughs> All right. <laughs> On the verge of hiccups, going to let you go, Duyen. <laughs> One more time, Sir hey, Crazy's guys, and guys. Chef Duyen! Chef- oh, my golly. 
I'm not jealous of him. It right was now. it was it was when he put in the ghost pepper. Now I, he he has a couple of different hot sauces. Him and I are big. We like a hot sauce together, and he. Uh, he oh yeah, a, is that what a, you guys call it? That's what we call. It. That's doing or space talking. Is that what it is? I don't. When know. you hot sauce together. Yeah, we hot sauce. We like a hot sauce. Um, <laughs> yes. I use myself there. Um, <laughs> but he's got a couple of hot sauces, and and that ghost pepper one is very very hot, but it's not as as Flavorful. hot. No, no. The other one he had, the one he brought to the party, the. Uh, um, uh, it's one of the ones from the bomb. The bomb. The bomb. The bomb is just the most horrible thing I've ever had in my life. It's hot for hot sake. It's the only thing that was worse. The only thing I've ever eaten that was worse, which is, and here's the word: the hottest thing I've ever eaten in my life was a salad. And in years and years ago, uh, in Vancouver, there was this Louisiana restaurant in Gastown. Okay. And I remember going there for lunch, taking a date, going for lunch. It was sort of, oh, it's kind of a very expensive place, so I figured I could get around the fact that I didn't make a lot of money by taking it for lunch there. And I ordered this salad, which was just sort of a, a, a lettuce and shrimp salad, but the, the hot, the, the, mm -hmm. the dressing they used on it was so insanely hot. That I remember, I'm sitting there talking to the person, and it's when it's like it's on your lips, and it's just and, you're like, ah. and I'm like, <laughs> it was the most horrible thing I've ever experienced in my life, hottest thing I've ever eaten. A I'm salad. I'm confused. Yeah, Vancouver. It is a top place. That's where he's from. Greek stuff. Greek stuff. Like so Greek, is, Greek he, stuff. No. Greek food. Greek Greek he's, stuff happens in Vancouver. I'm right confused. now, he is just free forming improv. Are we doing like beat poetry? We're just we're just thinking out loud. Sometimes Vancouver top stuff, Greek, Greek stuff. Greek stuff. Yeah. Achoo. I like it. Bam. Beats. How is our We got two, two minutes. More minutes. We got two minutes. Now, um, friendlies, I didn't have time today on the show to make a blue cheese dressing that goes with this. Look at our channel. In the next two weeks, We've got a I will put up a blue cheese recipe that you can use to eat um, these or mm -hmm. other things. Baron, don't watch because there's mayonnaise, so don't don't do that. I to think yourself. he can see mayonnaise. No, he doesn't. He doesn't like to. He doesn't like to acknowledge that mayonnaise. He doesn't. He exists. really would prefer to live in a mayonnaise-free uh, society. Mayonnaise-free world. Society. Mayonnaise-free society. Mayonnaise-free society. I don't want to live in that society. <gasps> Misty Portugal, really? Ah. Uh. Yuck! Blue cheese barf. So when you have wings, hey, do you... hang on. Maybe she doesn't like blue cheese barf. Oh, and in that fairness, you yeah. know what? Nobody wants to barf blue cheese. That's, That's fair. Yeah, that is a good yuck. That's fair. But like when you do wings, Misty Portugal, do you do them with ranch dressing instead? Because sometimes I do that, and because it's I'm a poem. <laughs> because sometimes I'm such a saucy minx that I like to do a ranch. And a blue cheese on the side to like switch Ooh, it up. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Blue cheese ranch. It's a poem about the Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but you just keep you just keep writing poetry. I, but if you just keep going about the Portuguese, they are so, so sad. sad. Yes. yes, or sour, sour cream. cream. <laughs> you know, I'm actually gonna write. I think we're gonna do one day, and I'm gonna take a transcript. We're gonna be transcript. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it like a beat poem of it. our chat. I love it. Okay, all right, that's fair. That, like that's fair, dude. But like, when was the last time? We gave blue cheese a chance. All we are so, saying oh, oh. is you blue no. cheese a chance. Oh, it's over here? Oh, yeah, the mics are freaking out. We just heard it. Oh, it's, uh, hang on. Is it me? Oh, yeah, my battery died. New music, yeah. <laughs> no, bad music, not music. Fixing the music. Ta-da! Fixed. Battery died. Um... So friends, in 11 seconds, I'm going to take these puppies out of the oven. Sorry, Kobe. We <laughs> that just sounded like you were taking we didn't, off. we didn't put puppies. No, I felt bad that Kobe's <laughs> I'm here. I'm going to take these puppies out of the oven. The dog just ran away. Um, hold well, on. You do that. I'm going to do it. As long as I stand here and talk in front of the... Luckily, I, I'm smart enough to put the shotgun in as well while I change the, the battery. Oh. Ooh. Oh, they look good. All right, hold on. I'm just gonna make a plate. You, All right, you, you do that. You talk I'm to the people. I'm going to uh, just quickly change batteries on this. Uh, we, we are. You guys get behind the scenes sometimes. Right like, 
while it's happening. Oh, look at this. Here we go. I'm just going to quickly, while you're doing that, I'm just going to quickly I don't know go. if these are going to be good. I can't decide by looking at them. Sometimes you take something out of the oven and you know right away, oh, that looks freaking amazing. Sometimes you just and know. And sometimes you're just kind of like, okay, maybe, or maybe not. Like You never know. And how I feel about these, and I, I've, we've got a lot more on the on the plate over they, there. They, they look like wings. They've got a wing, wing quality. Let me just bring it over our head so we can see what's going on here. Oh, right, that doesn't work. Uh, doesn't work. I don't know why that decided not to... to, to I love how technology every now and then just gets fickle. It's a very old phone, though. Okay, you know what? Dan's gonna, gonna go fly, Dan's gonna fly Cam in. Fly. I'm not mad at these. Fly I'm not Cam mad at yeah. these at all. I'm not mad at the way they taste. I'm not mad at the texture. I kind of like these. Ooh, those look really good. Yeah, the overhead cam can. Plus, it's like my iPhone from like 1996. So, like, yeah, it's not dealing well at all. Hey, we run a we run a, a live stream off of 75 phones. What do you mm. expect? Mm. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try Good this. I'm gonna They're try hot. This. They're hot. I have temperature. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. You know I what? Want more batter on it, though. You want more batter? I want a little bit more batter. I thought on there it. was like mega batter. No, I think. Guys, honestly, I just want I want I want to try sorry. one with more batter on it. Like, I have to stop saying, guys, friends, I don't care if you're a vegetarian or not. I was very anti-cauliflower mm. way okay. because okay. I eat chicken like a normal human. Um, hey, that's the, not fair. These that's are true. freaking delicious. Don't shame somebody for not eating chicken. The, Maureen, these are actually really delicious. They're really good. I, again, I've, ne I've always liked a good cauliflower wing. I think there's something really quite, but and I don't, and I even will say that I don't mind the hot sauce. It's, it's not as, the honey has cut it a little bit, so it's not as vinegary. But I also think the addition of the coconut oil has mm -hmm. changed it for me as well. There's a certain kind of ethnically ambiguous flavor to yeah. these wings, which I like. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you know, sure. Why not? Um, oh, do you want to make another one? No, I meant sure. Why not? I know, but that's why I said I was going to put a little bit of the blackberry in no, there. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm 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 Russian. This I, is the uh, this is the the cheap the cheap ass version of us making this cocktail. Oh, but it's not even because just the Zabroska is like delish. Um, just the what? Zabroska. Zabroska. Mm, these are really these good. Are not bad. Are they, these were they, again these these have the same taste and flavor palette of a good win. Also. They're pretty effing meaty considering mm -hmm. it's a vegetable. Like what I love about the push towards more vegetarian, like I'm I'm I have feelings about veganism and they're my own and I'll share them or I won't. But like what I dig about vegetarianism is there is stuff that is like it's I don't like when people are like, oh look, it's a vegetarian chicken. Yeah. Um this is just this is a cauliflower wing. It tastes like a wing, it tastes good. It's meaty, it's juicy, it's got good, like, nutrition, low fat, like, yeah, this is... Yeah, no, this is, if, if you put these down, it's just like, okay, we're going to have a snack. I, I don't know if I, if I want to, I, what I think is really good is, this mm. is the kind of thing that I would put this exact recipe with chicken wings and cauliflower wings, and I wouldn't really care which one I grabbed. Mmm. Mmm, mm hmm Mmm. Oh, I got yellow on my shirt. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, yeah, these are really good. Try these. Mm -hmm. um, and again, use the coconut oil because I was very mm. wary, and there's a reason I did. I did it on purpose because I didn't think it was going to taste good. Mm -hmm. I'm, and I'm and not... you're like El Diablo. Why would you do that on your show? Because I know what buffalo sauce and butter taste like. I've done that my whole life. So today I was just like, all right, it calls for coconut oil. Let's throw the co. It, it's delicious. Here's and one of the things I find is when it comes to what most people make when they make a a, 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 a hot wing. I'm no, I'm not a big fan of that. This is really good. I like, like, if I'm gonna have a spicy hot wing, I want Thai flavors in it, or I want, you know. Well, you're you're more likely to go. I don't want this American buffalo sauce I do. flavor. I, do. I don't like I do. it generally, but this I don't feel as that. This to me has more like it's a little bit more reminiscent of like Louisiana or or like a sweeter barbecue, like a, like a. Um, a Texas barbecue? No, a... Texas barbecue is not. It's Texas barbecue is smoky, but it's more like uh, yes. what's uh, St. Louis? Oh, no, no. St. Louis barbecue? 
Yeah. And to those of you who are international and you're like, what the hell is the difference between St. Louis barbecue oh. and Texas barbecue? Maybe we'll do a show. That just oh, we'll do a barbecue, barbecue, barbecue show. show. I would I um, love a good barbecue show. Because barbecue grilling is international, but barbecue is very American. Regional, very and regional. Like well, no, and Korean barbecue. Oh, that's that's fair. That, yeah. that, that, sorry, I, that sounded super ethnocentric, and now I feel guilty. I, I apologize. You do feel guilty. Don't don't do that again. You should never feel guilty. You made a mistake. I have Irish and Jewish in my makeup. I just feel guilty all the time. Really, I really I just have a few bugs in my makeup. It's because all right, people are are leaving. Maureen's gonna run because she's gonna meet some friends. Way to go, Maureen! Well, there you, you go. Fun. Well, there you go. In the world. Uh, next week. Next oh. week, I'm so excited. It's our one of our most recurring series, The Dining the Decades, and we are in the 80s. We're dining the 80s next We're week. We're dining friends. the 80s. It's going to be totally radical. There might be some neon. Uh, um, there there might, might be some new wave. Who knows? There might be some old wave. You like, never know. Just join us. Yeah. It's, um, it's, it's actually going to be really good. I, I, I'm very excited. Because we talked about doing this, and I really kind of want the sexy woman to eat Pop Rocks. Misty doesn't care what we make, she just cares what we wear. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, it will be a costume heavy show. Okay. okay. I think, but you have a lot of things that sort of suit 80s. I haven't really, I think, you know, I think you need a side pony. Oh my god. Not right now, don't tip I, the I head. was all about the side pony. <laughs> I think I need a side pony. I think so. Do you have a side pony for me? I, I actually I do have a clip inside pony that we could try to put on your head. I don't have I don't have any colors that I can pop. We got we got we got you. We got you. But I have a boat shoe. Listen, we're gonna figure it out. Or I have big feet. You know what that means. <laughs> big shoes. Big shoes. <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna be a fun show. It's gonna be a fun show. Um, um what else? Um yeah, we haven't published kitchen menus for a while because I have kind of had a bit of an idea of if you know, you know, um, which yeah. might sound counterintuitive, but um, guys, I'm still delivering food to Montreal once a week. What if are the you're... 80s drinks? No, no, good, uh, you know what tab. I think, you know what I, think I need to Did make? Anything with tab. My, I think there's a good 80s drink. With Kool-Aid? No, no, no. I think that one of my favorite drinks when I was a, when I was a teenager <sighs> in the 80s. My go-to drink, the creamsicle. Okay, I was also thinking, and actually in our notes, Misty, we have a note that says adult Capri Suns. Oh, we want to do adult. We wanted to do adult Capri but Sun. I, are Capri Suns nineties? No, Capri Sun is the, like Hawaiian Punch and Capri. But I think Sun a juice box is I see an eighties thing. I think when no, it became Capri a pouch. Sun was not the pouch was the eighties. Anybody want to want to? I want to say the outpouch is the nineties. But I think the pouch. No. I didn't see. I didn't see juice boxes until the eighties. But in the nineties, I was in high school and I didn't mm. do juice boxes. So I never. I, I've never and I've <coughs> never had a Capri Sun in my life. Yes, she says it's absolutely the eighties, and she knows. Ah, oh, but she just agrees with whatever you say. No, that's not true. We're both we're both <laughs> born the same year. We under we know shit. I know. I know. I just. I. I was a. I, and again, I probably because I was a teenager, I wasn't really drinking the juice box. We were, we were, we were Neither were we. We were drinking the Capri Sun pouch. Aren't you paying attention? This is <laughs> mildly infuriating. <laughs> but yes, creamsicle. Creams I think a creamsicle would be a great drink to make. I've always loved the creamsicle. These are really good. These are really tasty. These guys. are really, they're very meaty. That's they're really I meaty and they're healthy yeah well i don't know if they're healthy but why would they not be healthy they're baked mm -hmm. the only thing that went into them that is not healthy we used flour which if you're not gluten-free that's not healthy but in essence there's nothing wrong with flour um there's two and a half tablespoons of coconut oil which mm -hmm. by all accounts super healthy mm -hmm. uh right, paprika yeah. garlic salt milk yeah and again, you don't need to use lactose milk. You can use flavorless almond milk, flavorless oat milk to do this. I don't see why these aren't healthy. No, no, you're, you're, you're totally fair. And they're baked. They're not fried. This is an amazingly good treat, guys. And I'm such a meat eater, but like, no, no, I they're very this. good. They're really I did good. This a lot. Yeah. I think they're a good. They're a delicious. Um, uh, wing alternative. 
Oh, I like it. Miss, thank you, Misty. Huh? Oh, how was your supper tonight? Was it good? That was Danny D. Anyone who ordered food from the kitchen this week, I cannot take credit for the meat. That was the meat master himself, Danny D. I love I love that recipe. It's one of my favorite recipes because it's not a terribly difficult recipe. Small. It just takes time. But it's it's one of those things. If you have short ribs and time, a bottle of wine and some time, and and some oregano, um, you can make the most delicious thing in the world. It just takes pour wine on meat set to cook long time. But I kind Beautiful. of think there's two ways. Pardon me, I'm chewing up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There's two ways to make excellent food. There's probably more ways, but I'm going to break it down as very simple. There's either super skill, do it quick, blah, blah, blah. I know chemistry. I made food. <laughs> or there is... <clears throat> Low, slow, and foolproof. Yeah. Anything that you, look, as far as I'm concerned, anything you cook on low yeah. heat for a long period of time and introduce a lot of alcohol to it, it has no choice but to be delicious. If you want to have some of the best meals you've had in your life, and especially if you're not a great cook, if you're, or you're not an experienced cook. Slow cooker. Buy yourself a slow cooker. You can pick one up for 30 bucks. Or a braising pan. No, I, I'd say slow cooker. One of my favorite things. Take a chicken. Put it in a slow cooker, cover it with a bottle of barbecue sauce, and just let it sit for eight hours. And you will have one of the best meals you've ever had. <coughs> That's yep. delicious. Anyways. Oh, I'm so glad. With and that in mind. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, Misty, oh, Misty was happy with her food. I'm, I'm glad. Happy. I'm very, very glad. Um, thank you very much for joining us. We want to thank everybody who's on the show today. The amazing Chef Deanne. History of Gunpowder. Uh, inadvertently, Votre Dame. Votre Dame. Um, <laughs> us. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was a good drink we made. Was and those were great drink. wings. Those were delicious. Thank you, España. España. For chewing in. Fantastic. Uh, for chewing in. For tuning in. For chewing in. Muchas gracias, amigos. We don't know if you chewed. Amigas y amigas. Um, to all of our lovely regular hasta people. Hasta la próxima. Thank you very much for joining us every week. We will be back next week, Dining the Decades. Dining the 80s. The 80s. Wednesday, I'm, same time, same place, same place. I'm the divine Danny D. El Diablo, talk too much. Bye. We'll see you later. Oh,